Narrowband imaging, NBI, provides a clear image of the mucosal surface in esophageal cancers. The mucosal microstructure changes dramatically with the development of the cancer. Diagnosis and prediction of infiltration depth in esophageal neoplasias can thus be achieved by observing the architecture of the esophageal microvasculature. This video presents the diagnostic process for esophageal squamous neoplasia based on the new Japan Esophageal Society classification. The first case demonstrates dot-like loop vessels typical of high-grade intraepithelial neoplasia, cancers limited to the epithelium and the lamina propria. This is an esophageal cancer in the upper esophagus. We can identify the lesion as a red area. Using NBI, however, the lesion appears as a brownish area. Brownish dots are visible in a slightly magnified image. When we observe the lesion at maximum magnification, we can see dilatation, tortuosity, and various shapes of the vessels and brownish color changes in the areas between the vessels. The histologic diagnosis of the resected specimen was a cancer limited to the epithelium. The second case presents a small avascular area typical of cancers limited to the epithelium and the lamina propria. This is an esophageal cancer in the lower esophagus. The brownish area suggests that the cancer extends over half the circumference of the esophagus. Once we get closer to the lesion, we can see the honeycomb-like appearance and at high magnification, many small avascular areas become apparent. The histologic diagnosis of the resected specimen was a cancer invading into the lamina propria. The third case demonstrates non-loop vessels typical of cancers invading into the muscularis mucosa or the submucosa by up to 200 micrometers. This is an esophageal cancer in the mid-esophagus we can see a reddish area with an irregular surface. Using NBI, we can see a shallow depressed brownish area. Closer examination shows brownish dots in the surrounding area. and linear branch-shaped vessels in the central area. The histologic diagnosis of the resected specimen in this case was a cancer invading into the muscularis mucosa. The fourth case shows a mid-sized avascular area typical of cancers invading into the muscularis mucosa or the submucosa by up to 200 micrometers. This is an esophageal cancer in the mid-esophagus. Marker clips were placed adjacent to the lesion at the previous hospital. The lesion was slightly elevated at the oral end.
Magnification of the elevated area shows avascular areas surrounded by non-loop vessels about 1 mm in diameter. Iodine staining shows a cancer extending over two-thirds of the circumference of the esophagus. The histologic diagnosis of the resected specimen was a cancer invading into the muscularis mucosa. The fifth case presents non-loop thick vessels typical of cancers invading into the submucosa deeper than 200 micrometers. This is an esophageal cancer with a nodule in the lower esophagus. Using NBI, we can see brownish areas and vascular changes across the whole circumference of the esophagus, probably suggesting spreading of the cancer. When we get to the nodule and observe it at high magnification, we can see a linear greenish non-loop vessel. This vessel is much thicker than the surrounding non-loop vessels. Iodine staining shows a cancer of at least 5 cm spread across the whole circumference of the esophagus. The clinical diagnosis was a cancer invading into the submucosa by more than 200 micrometers. Detailed observation of the vascular architecture of esophageal neoplasias by NBI is therefore very important because it can provide valuable information for the diagnosis and prediction of infiltration depth in such tumours.